Hello everyone, my name is Prithviraj and today we've come up with a new series in which we'll pick up a topic and do some questions from the topic, right? So today we're starting with profit and loss. So let's begin. Okay, first up we have a question. Arjun buys oranges at 11 for rupees 10 and then sells them at 7 for rupees 10. What is the profit percentage he earns in this transaction? Okay. So this type of question, what they're saying is Arjun buys oranges at 11 for rupees 10. That means if he buys 11 oranges, he pays 10 rupees for them. Okay. And when he sells them, he offers 7 oranges and expects 8 rupees for it. Right. So how do we solve them? Well, what we can do is we can find out a common value at which we can calculate the cost price of sell price. Since this is 11 and 7, what we do is take their LCM. Now, to, their LCM would be nothing but 11 into 7, that is 77. Right. To achieve 77, what do we do? If we multiply this by 7, Right, and multiply this by 11, would we not get it? So 7 into 11 is 77, 11 into 7 is 77, right? But so when we multiply this by 7, we would also have to multiply here. Why? Because if 11 uh, uh, oranges cost rupees 10, so 77 oranges would cost 10 into 7, that is equal to 70 rupees. Similarly, if 7 oranges are sold at 8 rupees, then 77 or oranges would be sold at 8 into 11, which is equal to 88 rupees, right? So this would become the cost price and this would become the selling price right for 77 oranges that's the thing that in such cases it doesn't matter at what level you solve as long as you're calculating it for the same number right because we're calculating it for the same number of oranges the profit percentage will remain unchanged so now we can directly calculate the profit percentage we have the selling price and the cost price so 88 minus 70 upon 70 in 200 Right. So this comes out as 18 by 70 into 100, which is equal to 180 by 7. Right. If I divide 180 by 7, what do I get? Uh, 7, 2 and 4 carries out 40 over here and I get uh, 25. So only option which has 25 point something is option A. So I don't need to calculate it further even. So option A would be an answer, which is 25.7%. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Question 2. A shopkeeper buys two articles for a combined price of rupees 500. One of them was sold at a profit of 20% while the other one was sold at a loss of 20%. If the selling price of both the articles was exactly the same, find the overall profit slash loss percentage for the shopkeeper. Okay. So combined price of 500, right? So let's say one article is A and the other article is B. So A plus B together cost 500, right? So if I say the cost price of A is X, then the cost price of B would be 500 minus X, right? Now this A is sold at 20% profit and this B is sold at 20% loss, right? And the selling price in both cases is equal. So that means, can I not say 120 by 100 into X is equal to 80 by 100 into 500 minus X, right? That means, 6 by 5 and here I'll get 4 by 5 and 5 gets cancelled. What I get is 6x is equal to 2000 minus 4x or 4x if I take here that would become 10x or x is equal to 2000 upon 10 which is equal to 200. Right? So x comes out as 200. Now that is not what we are asked. We are asked find the overall profit loss percentage for the shopkeeper. Right? So total CP we know is 500, right? But what is the total SP? That would be any side you can calculate out. So 6 by 5 into 200, that should give us our CP. So this comes out as uh, 5 gives us 40. So what we get is 240, right? But this is for one article. For two articles, it will be double because both of them had the same selling price. So this would be 480. Now, selling price is less than cost price. That means it is a loss. And what would be the loss percentage? Loss percentage would be equal to four, uh, 500 minus 480. That is 20 upon 500 into 100. So 100 gets cancelled on what we get is 4. So 4% 4 loss would be the answer. That is option D. All right, let's read question 3. A trader had 600 kg of rice. He sold a part of rice at 14% profit and the other at 4% loss. If you made an overall profit of 8% in the deal, find the amount of rice sold at a loss. 
there are many methods to solve this one I'm, uh, one obvious is allegation but we'll do it with a very basic method right let's say 600 kg of rice we have right out of this x kgs is sold at 14 percent profit and 600 minus x kgs is sold at 4 percent loss right also to make our calculations easier we are considering that one kg of rice costs one rupees right cost price of one kg is one rupees that means cost price of x kg would be x rupees and 600 minus x would be 600 minus x rupees right and we'll be operating on this uh, selling price okay so what would be the selling price of x kg because it is for 14 percent profit that would be 114 upon 100 into x right similarly 600 minus x would be 96 upon 100 because 4 percent loss into 600 minus x and this should be equal to the overall profit percentage uh, the selling price that would be calculated from that so that would be 108 by 100 into the total rise that is 600 okay now if i divide this by 100 this gets cancelled out 114x minus 96x this is uh, we have taken on one side the x terms and over here if i take 600 common i'd get 108 minus 96 right so this comes out as uh, 18x is equal to 600 into 12 which is equal to 7200 and x comes out as 400 right so 400 kg was sold for 14 percent profit but where i find the amount of rice sold at a loss right so that would be 600 minus 400 that is equal to 200 kg so option d would be our answer let's read question four now wimble sold a book at a profit of 25 percent had he purchased the book for 20 percent less and sold at rupees 10.5 less he would have made a profit of 30 percent in the transaction at what price did wimble buy the book okay so let's assume he bought the book at 100x his original cp was 100x so he sold at a profit of 25 percent that means the sp comes out as 125x okay now the question is saying had he purchased the book for 20 percent less so 20 percent less from 100x that would be the new cp i'll calling it cp dash that would be 100x into 20 percent less that means 80 uh, yeah 4 by 5 so that gives us 80x right and selling price that would be 10.5 rupees less so that would be 125x minus 10.5 if this would have occurred he would have made a profit of 30 percent right so basically i can say 130 by 100 of 80x would be equal to the sp that is 125x minus 10.5 right so if i cancel this out this out and this out what i get is 104x is equal to 125x minus 10.5 right if i bring out 10.5 on one side 125x on and x terms on the other side what i get is 10.5 is equal to 21x or x comes out as 1 by 2 and what are we asked at what price did Wimmel buy the book originally so that was 100x so the price would be 100 into 1 by 2 that is the value of x which is equal to 50 so option e would be an answer question 5 quality ice cream shop sells ice cream in an interesting scheme a pack of five ice cream is sold at a price of four ice creams also on purchasing 19 packs one pack is given free Anmol buys 20 such packs in the scheme if he decides to sell all of these packs at the original price what will be his profit percentage in the scheme? okay so we are given that the ice cream shop is selling pack of five ice creams at the uh, price of four ice creams let's assume one ice cream costs rupees x that means pack of 5 right that would be 5x this would be the cp basically right effective cp but at what is it sold it is sold at the price of 4 ice cream so it is being sold at a price of 4x right also we are told that on purchasing 19 packs one pack is given free now Anpol gets 20 packs in the scheme so that means he would have also purchased 19 packs and got one pack free okay so basically how much would Anmol be paying for these ice creams he would be paying firstly for 19 packs only right he would be paying for 19 packs and how much would be paying for each pack that would be equal to the price of four ice cream so price of four ice cream would be 4x so 19 into 4x that is equal to 76x this would be the cp for Anmol. okay now Anmol decides to sell them at the original price 
the original price was rupees x so whatever ice creams that he got he is selling them for the full price so how many ice creams did he actually get in this deal that is 20 packs and each pack containing five ice creams so basically he got 100 ice creams right and what is the cost of one ice cream x so sp for him would be 100x so he's getting those ice creams at 76x but he's selling them at the original price which is 100x so profit percentage would be equal to 100 minus 76 upon 76 that is equal to 24x upon 76x in 200 so x gets cancelled out what i've left with is 19 over here and 25 over here so 24 upon 19 into 25 right this i can also calculate 19 by 24 this gives us 5 over here and 38 and this gives us 1.26 right 1.26 into 25 this gives us 15 over here and 5 carries 6 comes over here and what i get is 31.5 right the only option close to 31.5 is 31.57 percent if we would have done this division more thoroughly we would have achieved 31.57 percent so the correct answer is option c 31.5 percent okay with that we come to the end of this video in the next video we'll come up with a new topic and some new questions till then keep practicing thank you